I'm really excited and looking forward to the summer. I plan to spend more time doing what I love and getting somewhere for it. But although there is... Well, the summer is over. I have one week from today before I head back, and there is a lot on my mind with what has happened. Intrigue, disappointment, unique experiences, and even some regrets. So what am I supposed to think now? I've been feeling really existential lately. Normally the feeling comes for a few days and leaves, but it's been kicking for a while now. The thing that torments people that do not know their purpose. In a week, I will be a junior in college. Between a part-time job and full study, will this channel cease to exist like last year? I don't think so, but I don't know. I don't know, and that is the unnerving part. The part that doesn't stop because as you re-enter new parts of life, you are seldom aware of the exact outcome or course. As the threads are frayed and I more and more need to rely on myself, how well will I manage to stand on my own? What will happen? Graduation is going to be an ever-declining ticker two years from completion, and where am I? Am I moving fast enough? Back when I watched rom-coms all the time, and similar school shows, the graduation was always a melancholic but hopeful look into the future, and for me, a somber end to a series, knowing they were going their separate ways, or in the least, that the activities they were having would never be the same again. And we face those on the daily, small graduations and adjustments, always modifying our lives in permanent ways. It is only so rare we slow down to see them happening at big moments. A lot of the shows I've watched have had these moments as well. Because how can you possibly move forward without change? And how can you possibly retain value from a lack of growth? It's just that each door opens as others close, and based on the previous paths, the best door may not be available. But you wouldn't know that either way, and that's terrifying to me. I was asked to express to someone a reason why Lucky Star was significant to me, and with typical reasons and rationales aside, the personal anecdotes put on the shelf, I explained that the show is an encapsulation of meticulous understanding of an entire time period, community, and medium. That I could not think of a single show that so well tied into a bow all the things that it represented. What Lucky Star represented was the significant aspect to me, and how it did so well seemingly under people's noses is a testament to how seamless it really is. It will be very hard as the years go on for newer and newer anime fans to put in the effort and time to truly understand what that show represents, because it is a living, breathing encapsulation of the time that they were not present for. But as a vehicle for nostalgia, the show for those who are present may as well be a time machine. Sure, it's enjoyable enough as a four coma adaptation that spends half of its first episode talking about a chocolate cornet. The characters do fine, the references are funny when you get them, but, but anybody can minimize anything if they use the right words like that. That it's just about a chocolate cornet. There will always be a surface appearance, and a context that greatly expands on the motivation of intrigue of that thing. I'm drawn to works of art with layers, that are more than the sum of their parts, and at least attempt to be or say something great, even if it's just in what they represent. And that thing doesn't have to represent or mean much, but if it offers insight, honest perspective, and passion, it bleeds the part of human experience that I so desperately absorb meaning from. It's weird for me, because as of late, I've actually been feeling a lot better. I still feel anxious and panicked about the future implications of my life, but I also feel a blanket of calm over that. I don't know if I'm on the right track, but I've finally accepted with confidence that I must keep stepping whichever direction I may. Maybe that's because of the freedom I have to know that people now hear me and consider what I have to say, but the benefit also could signal reliance, which of course could lead to the negative. Where we are, where we have been, where we are going, is a story written into each of our cells and acted out on the world we inhabit. Sometimes that can be comforting and other times not. 
The people we meet along the way for better or for worse, the big turning points and the modest ones where we just sit and talk, carefree and unassuming, a mass into what becomes our life experiences, how each of the characters in the stories I grew up with finish arcs and have last episodes that roll. As that happens, I know that I have a role in contributing to make my own capsule of time one that benefits people and changes things in the ways that I see are right, even single moments at a time. Summer is over. I have one week from today before I head back and there is a lot on my mind with what has happened. Intrigue, disappointment, unique experiences, and even some regrets. So what am I supposed to think now? I'll have hope and enjoy all that I can because you blink and you might miss it.